Hello everyone, my name is Jason and I was hoping to give you my quick review and impressions of the Lan Lee 120mm RGB Bora fans. Uh, they came, these fans came included in the Alpha 550 case that I have that I'm currently doing a build in. And so I'll walk you over kind of the build quality, my impressions of the fan, how they function, and I'll give you a quick comparison against another fan that I've got. I don't have any fancy way of actually measuring airflow, but I'll kind of hopefully give you a better idea of some of the characteristics. So I'll start out here, the fans with the Alpha 550, you'll get three of these RGB fans. Uh, and what's included with the fans are the RGB fan hub. So this fan not only this fan hub not only controls the the RGB, but all of the fans actually plug into this, um, and then this plugs into Molex power from your power supply. So, as you can see, there's some adhesive on the back, so you can stick it on the fan, or stick it inside your case. Uh, in addition, you have your six fan plugs here. Uh, as you can see, it looks like a proprietary connector, um, which your fans actually plug into. So, here is the actual connector that you see for your uh, your fans. You can see. Uh, I'm assuming these here are for the fans themselves and then you have other cords here that are for the RGB functions on the fan. Uh, here's your Molex connector um, that goes into your power supply and you can see that actually plugs into uh, the, uh, the RGB fan hub. Um, there is a speed sense wire for your PWM functionality on uh, the fans so they can the speed can actually be controlled via your motherboard. Included with the fans is also the RGB uh, remote. So here's your remote. You can turn the fans off, which is a nice feature for those that just really need to take a break from the RGB awesomeness. Uh, you have the ability to make your fans brighter and dimmer, which is a unique function on the fans, at least that I've seen. Um, you can cycle through all the different modes, uh, and you can actually speed up the modes at which they operate. Uh, and then you can also set your different uh, colors here of your RGB fans if you desire a specific color. So uh, what we're going to go to next is I'm going to show you kind of a close-up of the fans themselves. So we'll set some of this off to the side. So uh, we do have, uh, here are the fans, we do have a, a two-sided or two-piece aluminum uh, frame for the fan, so they do have a little bit more heft than other fans that are out there, especially the ones that are all plastic. Uh, you do have these rubber grommets uh, that will help isol uh, sound isolate the fans from the case, so that will give you the ability to have a little bit quieter case. Um, and you can see both cords actually run into the fans themselves. Um, you know, good looking fans, pretty straightforward. Uh, so kind of what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to take one of these fans apart so you can uh, see what it looks like inside and kind of the functionality of it. Uh, the unique feature about that is it gives you the ability to paint the aluminum frame. So you'll be able to match these fans to whatever color frame or theme you have going on within your case. So I think that is probably a unique feature. makes it easy to kind of modify and customize the fans themselves. Alright, so I'm going to set up to go ahead and take one of these fans apart and you can kind of see what they look like. Okay, for the disassembly of the fan, it's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll just use a standard uh, Phillips head screwdriver. Um, you have a single screw that uh, comes out of each one of these corners of the fan themselves. So they're pretty straightforward to take apart. Uh, nothing fancy, no, no special socket required, which is kind of nice. I think everybody has a Phillips head screwdriver to be able to take things apart, especially if you're into building your own PC. You definitely have a Phillips head screwdriver. So we'll go through. So once those four screws are uh, removed, uh, you can see the aluminum frame comes off pretty simply. Um, again, like I said, it's, uh, it gives you the ability to uh, paint the frames to better match your case. Uh, again, you can kind of push the aluminum frames out and you can see, get a better look at just the pure fan. And to be honest with you, even without the frame, the fans don't look too bad. Um, just the standard looks like white, kind of kind of plastic, uh, a little bit more translucent. But what we can see here, kind of take the next step here, you can actually remove 
and take the subframe off and you can see how the LEDs are arranged within the fan. Kind of gives you a better look. We can kind of see the different features or the different addressable RGB lights here. So kind of a unique setup and really kind of gives you some neat effects uh, when the fan is actually operating. And we'll see those in just a bit. So I'm going to put the fan back together and then we'll kind of go over some operation. Okay, so what we have now is that the fan is hooked up strictly to Molex power. Uh, the RGB fans are off, which is a ni again a nice feature. Um, and so with no speed signal input from PWM, the fans are spinning at their top speed, which is 1900 RPM. So the camera is about 12 inches away from the fan. As you can see, here's the ruler, so it's about 12 inches away. So you can see, and, or you can hear, uh, how loud the fan is at top speed. So it is audible. You do hear the motor, but it's not a whine. It's not any annoying vibration. The fans themselves spin very smooth. And mostly you can just hear the, the small whir of the motor, and you can hear the actual sound of the air moving. So I've attached a ribbon to kind of give you a sense of how strong the airflow is. Um, it does put out quite a bit of air. So I will kind of uh, get a piece of paper here that, to, to kind of show you how much air is being put out. So again, you can see it does put out quite a bit of air um, and pushes that air pretty effectively for a 1900 RPM fan. So, Lan Lee does advertise these as high static pressure fans. Uh, I'll go ahead and post the specs to the fan in the comments or in, you know, the, uh, down below the video so you can take a look. Uh, but to kind of give you a good sense of how fast these fans are spinning. So, I'll go through a quick setup procedure. Uh, and this is something, if you do get the fans, that you'll have to do. It's something that I wasn't aware of um, because I didn't read the manual. But uh, if you read the manual, it tells you to go through these steps to get make sure that your fan RGB works correctly. So you'll get this user guide. Uh, and as you can see, fan number one is actually plugged into the bottom, or hooked up in the bottom slot in the Alpha 550 case. And just follow steps one through five. Here they're printed in English and also uh, other languages. Um, so, but follow the guide, and so the guide will tell you to turn the fan LEDs off. So once you do that, you press the auto button, and then you're going to get three colors right here on the inside of the fan. And in this case, the order is red, green, and blue. Uh, but in the instance when you first get the fans, those colors may not be correct in the correct order. So you're going to turn on the fans by pressing auto. Uh, then you're going to hold down the blue button on the remote, which is the top right button, um, and you're going to press that until the RGB color sequence is in the correct order. And the correct order is red, green, and blue. Once they're in that order, then you're going to press the off button to turn the fan off and save that setting. Now, all of your RGB functionality is going to be correct. So I press the red button, you get red, I get green, blue, the different shades of yellow, which probably are not going to show up very well on the camera. We have, that's supposed to be orange. It's orange-ish. Uh, we have a light blue. We have a, a little bit darker blue. You have your pink. Um, you're kind of your aquamarine blue, and then your white. So, and again, to kind of show you a little bit more of the functionality, I can turn down the brightness on the fan, which is, again, makes the fan a little bit less in your face, uh, which is nice. I can, of course, turn the brightness all the way up. And then I'm going to hit the auto button to kind of, and this kind of cycles through all of the different modes that you have. Now when you have multiple fans hooked up along with a addressable RGB switch or RGB uh, strip connected to your, your, your hub, all of the color effects go very well together and they blend from one fan to the next and I'll show you that overall. 
So this is again the auto mode. Uh, on another video I posted, uh, I got I counted about a hundred different modes for the fan. Uh, apparently that's less than half according to uh, Lan Lee's response to my video. Uh, but there's quite a few different modes. Uh, a lot of them are really nice, really subtle. I think you know once I complete my build, I'll find the the mode that I like the best and probably just leave it like that and not change it very often. But again, it gives you quite the ability to customize the look and feel of, of your case and also the look and feel of the fans. So I'll let kind of this go for a little bit longer. You can see the different modes. Again, colors may not show up best on the camera, but it does give you a better idea of what the fans look like and the different modes that are available. Okay, so what I've done here is I've got the I've got a EK Evo 120 millimeter ER uh, black fan. Uh, this is the new fan that uh, EK just released to kind of give you a little bit of a comparison. This is not meant to be one is better than the other, just to kind of give you a better idea of how the Lanley Bora fans perform. So looking at uh, this fan. This fan is good for operation from 25% uh, uh, the PWM duty cycle all the way up to 100%. Uh, the fan's top speed is uh, 2200 RPM which is a little bit greater but I will take this up to about 1900 RPM which is the same uh, fan speed as the Bora fan to kind of give you a apples to apples ish comparison of the two so currently the fan is spinning at uh, 25 percent PWM that translates into about uh, 500 RPM and then I'll crank this up to 1900 RPM which is about 80 to 82 uh, percent for the EK fan so and you'll be able to kind of hear the distance again is approximately the same uh, we're about a foot away from the center of the fan uh, for the camera. Gives you a, a, you know, as close as I can get to a comparison. So uh, here we go. We'll turn up the fan. Um, so right now we're sitting at 50%. Uh, the EK fan is at about, about uh, 1,200 RPM. Uh, we'll take this up to... You can start to hear the fan and the motor. We're at about 75%. Uh, so it's about 1800 RPM and then uh, sitting at 82 percent puts us at about 1900 RPM so you can see uh, the ribbon in the back kind of how that's flapping around a little bit so you know a lot like what we saw with the Bohr fan and then uh, as I kind of take the paper and I lower it behind you can kind of see the air column and how it pushes the fan away so again gives you an idea of uh, the airflow. Uh, it does look like the EK fan at this speed does give you quite a bit of air which you would expect for uh, the fan to, you know, built by EK. So it uh, looks like the fan does a good job there. Also at this volume you can kind of begin to hear the motor whir. Uh, it does have a little bit uh, louder noise to it I think uh, again subjectively um, and it does have a little bit of a deeper I guess motor sound to it. So, um, but right now that's at 1900 RPM. This is the EK 120 ER fan uh, that again goes up to uh, 2200 RPM plus or minus. And right now, this fan again is spinning at about 1900 RPM. So we can kind of get of a comparison between the two. So uh, gives you there. If you give me a quick second, I will go ahead and set up the Bora fan and try to replicate uh, the same scenario. Okay, everybody, back. I've got the Bora fan hooked back up. Uh, it's currently spinning at about 1100 RPM. Uh, I'm able to control the PWM. I'm using a speed fan right now, uh, so I can crank it up again to remind you what it sounds like. So this is 100% uh, PWM or 1900 RPM. Uh, you can hear the uh, motor noise at full at full bore. I don't think it's overly loud or annoying and no obnoxious buzzing or, or whirring sound. So uh, that's good there. And then I can go ahead and turn this back down. Uh, let's see, we'll turn it down to 20%. Well, we'll go down to 50%. So 50% um, is...
is uh, 950 RPM so again I would expect that for folks really wanting quiet operation this is the sound that you would hear coming from the fan which is essentially non-existent uh, so to kind of show you what how much air it's pushing uh, again you know just 50 percent still seems to push a good amount of air so that's that's good uh, and then you can take this all the way down uh, to I think 20 percent and you can see the fan is completely silent at this point we're at 20 percent probably not moving a whole lot of air uh, just barely a little bit but it kind of gives you an idea of the uh, speed regime of the fan itself so let's crack it back up to 50 percent uh, overall I'm impressed with the RGB fans from Lan Lee I think they look really sharp I really like the design choices that they made uh, the unique option for being able to take the aluminum assembly off and apart gives you the option to paint the fan uh, itself and really kind of customize it to your case uh, I like the ability that I can actually turn off the RGB so I think that is a great feature in and of itself uh, along with the, the ability to dim the lights so they're just not completely in your face so overall impressed with the fans I did notice one item I'm not entirely sure if it's my setup here but uh, I'm not getting a RPM signal back from the fan and the fan hub so I'll do some more investigations and uh, follow up with that to see if it's something I'm doing on my end or if it's something I've uh, hooked up incorrectly but uh, overall impressed with the fan uh, really like the the looks and the style and I think uh, Lanley's got a great product here so that's my thumbs up thanks for tuning in and let me know if you have any questions thanks Goodbye.